What's up guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part 5 of how do I personally clean my dive gear. And today we're going to be looking at the information system. We're going to look at my compass and we're going to look at my uh, computer as well that I use a lot. And I'm going to show you how I clean them. Now just like all the other videos we've done in this series, I've got the same Pelican box, same amount of water. And once again I'm using the Pow Palau product. I really like it. it's an all-natural product it's kind of got a little lemon scent to it but it's it's not going to be harmful to you and it's a set it and forget it product you put it in you wash your gear you don't even have to rinse your gear off but i'm going to simply take my computer i'm going to make sure i'm going to do a quick inspection make sure that the battery compartment's closed on it i'm just going to simply set it in i'm going to take my compass and set it in and that's it as far as my computer and compass goes, that's pretty much it. Now, I will state this. I will scrub around the buttons of the computer a little bit just to make sure there's no grime or dirt in there. Depending on what type of computer system you have, if it's got a little faceplate like this, has got a removable faceplate, I'll pick it up, see if there's any dirt, grime in there like that. Do it on both sides. If all's good, simply snap it back in. I'll let it set. Like I said in the other videos, I kind of do all my gear at once. I put it in there. I let it set for about 15 minutes, scrub what I need to. And of course, I'm going to pull it out, simply let it dry. On a beautiful day like this, it only takes a couple of minutes to dry. But if you don't want to leave it in direct sunlight, take you a towel or a little chamois cloth, wipe it off. And then, of course, I store it away. And of course, I store it in a little soft bag here. I do both my computer and my compass the same way. It's a real simple, easy way to clean your equipment just like that. Now during the inspection process, another thing that I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll check the battery to make sure that the battery is good. If it needs to be replaced, I will replace it after cleaning. Some people will say, well, why don't you replace it before you clean it? Well, there's a couple of reasons. If it's got dirt and grime around that battery compartment door, I don't want to get that inside the battery compartment itself. So I'll go ahead and clean it, let it dry off really good. And then if I need to replace the battery, I can. That's it. That's how I do my compass and my computer system. It's really simple. The other computer system I wear, you guys saw in my uh, personal rig rundowns, is my everyday watch that I wear. And it's as simple as when I take a shower or if I just clean my gear, stick it in water. It's a really simple process. But guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. Don't worry, we have another set of videos coming out in this series because I'm still going to go over my tanks. I'm going to go over my personal accessory items as well. But stay tuned for that. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.